Hello and welcome to today's podcast, which I'm titling Open Your Mouth, Open Your Eyes, and Open Your Ears, and How to Seize Opportunities at Work. Now, whether you are new to your position or have a few years under your belt, you want to keep moving up the ladder. Uh, but how do you get uh, ahead and how do you seize those opportunities? If you look around your company, you might think that certain people are born with this natural ability to excel. Um, this isn't always true. There are certain steps and techniques to make sure that you seize opportunities and you can continue climbing up the ladder. It takes a set of special skills to spot an opportunity and act on it. Here are three actions you need to take to see and seize your next opportunity. As I mentioned, number one, open your eyes. <clears throat> there are opportunities all around us uh, and everywhere uh, uh, possible that make you advance. So, But you'll never know if you don't look for them. So the seeds of an opportunity hide in places like your company's corporate communications, for example. You know those forwarded emails? from corporate that tell you about someone getting a promotion, for example, if that person is in a new job, his or her old role may be vacant. So aim for that. What about your company's an e-newsletter or internal communications? Do you delete it the second it arrives in your inbox? That's a big mistake. Uh, when your company uh, tells its success stories, it's telling you the areas of the business you uh, where opportunity is booming read every corporate email with yourself in mind is there a place in that segment of the business where you could make a contribution if so do it don't just think about it just do it you also need to take a broad view of your industry uh, real trade publications uh, are the ones who give you the best example so read them and understand what's going on in the marketplace so if you are not the walking talking encyclopedia after three or four years of your business then do not complain that your career is not moving forward if you spot trends in your industry you can begin your push to get involved in your own company's effort to capitalize on it so number two open your ears uh, do you try to get out of going to company-wide meetings uh, or functions uh, when you are in a team meeting do you take notes or does your mind wander to your to-do list and other matters that are not relevant to that function or to that meeting when you talk to people in your department do you ever ask what else they're working on well, we all have a lot to do in our jobs of course everybody's busy we all have a lot on our hands uh, but spotting opportunities requires you to put aside your task list and actively listen when others talk so unfortunately most people don't listen they are waiting for their turn to talk don't be that kind of person open your ears practice active listening skills and show empathy because that what makes you move ahead and that what makes you spot opportunities even more you want to gain a picture uh, and the big picture vision of your organization if a co-worker in another department tells you about a huge upcoming project pay attention look for ways to contribute and become associated with the project if an executive tells you all hands audience about a need to control cost in a certain area think about how you can make a difference the more you listen the more you'll begin to hear about places where you can excel and contribute and finally open your mouth make the most of your networking opportunities within your company and outside get to know key people in other areas of your company as well as your own business line <clears throat> when talking to them learn the right way to bring attention to yourself always use the word we before you use I uh, for example we just finished a huge overhaul of our budget uh, I was able to find 65,000 in savings by making some simple changes. Remember to bring up recent successes in the other person's areas of the company so you are seen to share credit and that makes you a great team member. This shows that you've been keeping tabs on what's going on around the business and that you are a well-informed um, employee and team member. It is also critical to let your own manager 
no you want to move up so communicate uh, this to them on a regular basis the right way to do it is to be specific it's not enough to tell your boss that you'd like more responsibility well i want more responsibility i want a promotion no tell your manager about a specific role you'd like to fill support your request by talking about it and what you would bring to that job and what value you would add give examples of ideas for increasing efficiency and cutting costs uh, remind your manager of any goals you recently achieved and don't forget to mention if you had to lead a team or manage others if you open your eyes ears and mouth in the right way you'll find opportunity is just around the corner